The useful life of a bicycle bought at Basement Mart fits a log normal distribution. Okay, so right here we are told that uh, the random variable that we're looking at right now does not fit a normal curve. It's log normal. Okay, and you don't really need to understand what that means, although it might be worth looking into just to get some background on it for in case you ever see it in a future more advanced statistics class. But you don't need to understand that to be able to answer this question at the level we're at right now. We're just noticing that it's not a normal random variable. Okay, it's not normally distributed. And so what we know is that even if your random variable is not normally distributed, when you're doing a sampling distribution for the sampling mean and taking every possible mean for a certain sample size, you're creating a new bell curve of, of sample means. And those can be normally distributed under two conditions by the central limit theorem, either or. Either the original distribution was normal, which is not the case here, or your sample size is greater than 30. Okay, so we're looking to see now that we know that this is not a normally distributed random variable to begin with, what we need in order to apply the central limit theorem is that we're doing samples of a size n that is greater than 30. So now we notice that we are looking at samples of 100 bicycles randomly chosen. So that is an n of 100, which is greater than 30. So the central limit theorem can be applied here. Now, uh, we know that we are looking for the average useful life bicycle, life of a bicycle bought at basement mark. So that is our random variable for the sampling distribution, x bar for the sample mean, with n of 100. So that means that now our sampling uh, distribution will be normal. So we use capital N to denote that after the, the little tilde. And then we want to put in the mean and the standard error for this normal distribution. So the mean it was given up here as 16 months. Now that is for the original random variable, the single individual life um, of bicycles, but it also will be that for the sampling distribution. So the mean of the original x values will also be the mean of the sampling distribution. So we don't need to change that at all. Then we have a standard deviation of the original uh, random variable at 13.8. So now we just need to calculate the standard error of the sampling distribution by dividing by the square root of n. Okay, so we're going to get the standard error, and I'll use SE for short, by taking the standard deviation of the original random variable distribution and divide that by the square root of the n, which is 100 here. Now, um, you might just type in um, 10, because you know the square root of 100 is 10, or you can put it in like this, and SQRT in Excel will calculate the square root. So we get 1.38, and you might notice that when you divide by 10, it moves the decimal place backward one place, so um, we really didn't need Excel to help us with that one, probably. All right, so let's check it out, see if we got it. Yes.